This morning, get ready to receive from God like never before and be prepared for an experience of God's favor and mercy. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Chola or Shimakinde. Hallelujah. <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank God for this beautiful Monday morning. Glory to God. Let's pray this morning. Can you lift up your hands and just say, Father, thank you. We love you. We worship you. You are good and your mercy endures forever. Wherever you are watching or listening from, just thank God. Tell him how great, how wonderful. How awesome is being to you. Thank him for everyone around you, for everything around you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we give you praise. Thank you for another opportunity to share your word. Thank you for everybody listening. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Again, I want to share something very wonderful with us. And then we pray. I want to talk about God remembering you. Now, that phrase, you find that word many times in the Bible, especially the Old Covenants. It's not that God, in that sense, will forget. No. But there is a time that heaven's attention is on you. Mm. I will start from Exodus 2.24. And God heard their groaning. And God remembered his covenants. Mm. See, before now, Genesis 8.1, the Bible says, And God remembered Noah. He had told Noah to get into the ship or the ark. And he had told Noah to take things inside. 
Then the flood ended, and it looked like Noah was perpetually left inside the, uh, uh, the ark. Then the Bible says, and God remembered Noah. Now, again, I'm speaking by the Spirit to somebody listening to me this morning. Maybe you are a minister of the gospel, you are a believer, you have prayed, and then you have received some words from God. You have received some promises. What is it like after that, that promise or those promises? Nothing is happening. You are just there. I'm being sent to tell you and watch it. It will look like God has remembered you because this week is your week in the name of Jesus Christ. All of a sudden, God, the Bible says, God remember Noah. Of course, then that led to them stepping out of the ark. The Lord might have put you in a position to wait and you are wondering whether he has forgotten that you are there. No. In the name of Jesus, he will remember you. Now, God made a covenant, where we read now, to Abraham. And for over 430 years, it looked like nothing was going to happen about that promise. So these people began to pray. And they began to groan. And the Bible says God heard their groaning. And he remembered his covenant with Abraham. Oh, dear Lord Jesus. When they appeared to Moses also, Exodus chapter 6, he told Moses that I have heard the groaning of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians keep in bondage. I have remembered my covenants. Let me point out something to you from this passage. When you groan, when you pray, it's like you remind God of something. That's why we want to pray this morning. When he heard the sound of their groaning, the Bible says he remembered. That means prayer can cause God. Remember, it's not that God will forget. God doesn't forget things. But prayer causes him to shift his attention, to focus on you to, at that moment. In the name of Jesus, may heaven's focus be on you this week. Say loud, amen. May heaven's attention be on you this week. So the Lord, as a result of the groaning of these people, he remembered the covenant and he had to appear to Moses. He did something about it. Now, I can take you all through the Bible and you see how God remembered many people. He remembered Sarah. Now, the Bible says, God, I want to show you one of such. And that is saying, Genesis chapter 30, verse 22. You know, Leah and Rachel were two sisters of the same father and mother. Or probably, Bible is a Bible talk about the same father anyway. Laban's uh, children. And Jacob married them. Jacob loved Rachel. But Leah was the one giving birth. She was giving birth to children effortlessly. But Rachel, but the Bible says in Genesis 30 verse 22, and God remembered Rachel. By this time, by this time, Leah had had maybe over four children. It looked like Rachel would never have a child again. It looked like she would never. But the Bible says God remembered Rachel. Whatever you are trusting God for, that you have prayed for, that you have hoped for, that has not happened, this morning, lift up your hand, your hand whatever you had. Join me to say, the Lord will remember me this week. Pray and say, Lord, remember me this week. Lord, remember me this week. Let it be my turn to rejoice. Let it be my turn to share testimonies. Let it be my joy, my turn to sing songs of joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray for you that it will be your turn this week. God will focus his attention on you. God will remember you for good in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Rejoice because something good is happening to you this week. Till I come your way again next week, 
by the grace of God. This is Mercy Moment on a beautiful Monday morning. I'm Shalosh Makide. God is good and His mercy endures forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us on Mercy Moments today. To watch previous episodes of Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola, please follow us on all our social media platforms. God bless you.